health care for pets can look a lot like health care for humans. Similar surgical procedures and similar drugs. The veterinarian can prescribe pretty much the same antibiotics that a physician can prescribe. And unlike humans, animals don't always need a prescription. Take fish, for example. They use the same antibiotics as people, but the drugs are sold over the counter, no prescription required. They're extremely popular. We, we probably sell out of uh, certainly erythromycin weekly. People can buy these drugs for whatever use they want. No one's checking. And they're not only used on fish. This clerk just took a call from someone wanting fish drugs for a dog. They didn't want to go through the rigmarole with a vet, so they go shopping around trying to find it at an aquarium store. It's a problem because antibiotic use helps create superbugs, bacteria that are resistant to drugs. And those superbugs can jump from pets to people and back again. So how big is the problem? The fact is nobody knows because no one is tracking the use of antibiotics in pets and no one is monitoring the movement of superbugs back and forth between pets and their owners. This study showed people with pets had a seven-fold higher risk of carrying a superbug. Other studies tracking the emergence of superbugs in dogs and cats have called it a major public health issue worldwide. That's why the American College of Veterinary Internal Medicine is issuing this statement calling for better surveillance and control over antibiotic use in pets. Uh, the main concern is using them in animals and building up resistance that then complicates treatment of someone that's critically ill, and that's a big concern. The solution? Using the right drug for the right condition and only when absolutely necessary. Advice that applies equally to pets and people. Kelly Crow, CBC News, Guelph, Ontario.